Welcome back, survivors. Where we last left off here, I was working on my factory. You see my base out there, the space elevator. And I was working out here on this factory, and I've uh, just about got this one set up the way I like it. I still got to do a few more things, but I've just about got it set up the way I like it. So um, I've got the resources coming in from up the hill up there. I'm going to be following in more resources to the second floor eventually. But for now, I've just worked on the first floor and got it done. So we got um, the ingots coming into our factory here, uh, smelting out um, iron rods in these two, and then plates in that one over there. The rods on this one are being turned into screws, and the screws are being split off to two um, fabricate or assemblers, excuse me. Uh, this one over here is crafting using the iron plates and the screws to make reinforced iron plates, and then this one over here is using the iron rods and screws to make rotors. Uh, so I've got that completely... Um, automated and is heading out into storage for both of these um so I, I probably need to change i've got a a second actually i've got three of them now making iron plates so i need to adjust the other two to maybe make the uh what are they called these things right here uh gosh the modular frames i need to set up one of them to run modular flames but frames but anyways we need to head back to base um let me jump in the little tractor here because we have got some new things to research and some new things to unlock today. Um, I need to start working... I need to make sure we finished up Tier 3, and then we need to start working on Tier 4. I probably need to run around down here and refuel everything. Um, I need to start finding a source of coal as well. And there's steel I think we can unlock. So we'll see what all we can get done today. Alright, let's jump out here at the old base here. Love these new jump shoes, how much faster we are now. <laughs> Alright, did we unlock everything? Yeah, we did unlock everything on Tier 3 last time, so we're up to Tier 4, um, which is steel production, so I probably should start working on that. Um, because it's going to unlock a new miner, steel ingots, steel beams, steel pipes, all kinds of new things, heavy modular frames, motors, stators, and a foundry, which is going to smelt two resources into alloy ingots, which sounds interesting. So I'm thinking maybe you'll be inputting iron and copper and make steel maybe, but we'll have to figure that out. Um, oh, that actually says steel ingots are made from iron that's been smelted with coal. Okay, so we're using the foundry to add coal to iron to make steel. That makes sense. Um, doesn't seem like it's too expensive. We should be able to make that. Let's get to work on it. All right, one other thing I forgot to mention, and I, one other thing I wanted to do out here um, is set up the new uh, vehicle system, the truck station out here. This is a giant, giant building. All right, but the idea is that I think we can automate some stuff so that I don't have to run back and forth between my base and this production factory out here that I can uh, just have it all automated and sent out here. I can use the tractors to just deliver the resources. So let me see how I need to line this thing up here. I I need it to the items to feed out of that storage into it. So let me back it up just a little bit away from here. It says I am in the way, the player's in the way. Let me see if that's going to line up correctly. I think it needs to be a little bit like this. Let's try this. We can always redo it if it doesn't quite line up right. But this is a, oh man, this is a huge building. How does this work? Let's see. So it's got three, oh, this one's an exit. It's got the arrows pointing out, so that's, is that where items go out of it? Let me try this and see. Let me set up conveyor belts here. It may be that you can set it up in a couple of ways. How do I configure this now? So it's going to dump the materials that we've been producing here down into it. And where are the resources going? They're not going anywhere. <laughs> resources are not being loaded into it. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. I do not want to store all my items. Um, okay, so I gotta play around with this then and see how this is gonna work. I obviously, am oh, it, maybe it needs fuel. Oh, it needs electricity maybe or fuel. Okay, um, let's see if I've got a little, well, if I take the fuel out of there, I won't have any for the truck. Let's grab some fuel for my production up here and see how this thing works. 
Because I want to get that set up. The automation for that I think would be really nice. Let's see, I should have plenty of fuel in here. Let me just grab a couple hundred. I don't know how much we'll really need, but I'll grab a couple hundred just to, just in case. So yeah, this factory's coming along quite nicely. I'm, I'm kind of happy with it so far. It's Of course it's not done, but I like the way I set up the the walkways here, you can snap the stairs onto each other, and then I put all my electricity production up here on the upper floor, and then just ran cables down so it's kind of clean. Um, I like it. It's pretty neat. Pretty cool what you can do with this game. I I'm really impressed. Alright, so let's see if we it just needs fuel right here. Alright, it's got fuel. Now what? Now will it take the items? I've got this set up all wrong or something. Maybe it needs electricity too, because it has a blinking power pole. Gosh, if it needs electricity, that could be a problem. Yes, it does need electricity. Okay, well, we're going to have to probably make a new power generator for it then. Um, let me see if I can plop one down right here just to kind of play around with it. Let's see. It helps when you hit the right button. Power, biomass, still need to get those coal generators up and running. Let's just set it like that for now, just to test to see if this works. That's not going to be in the right place. I'm going to have to move that. Just might as well go ahead and move it now. Back it up just a bit to there. Alright, yeah, that'll do. And now a power line coming out of it. I'll just place it here. And one from there to there. Alright, so now it's powered. It should work. Um, throw in some fuel. Yes, now the resources are going into it. Alright, cool. Not all of them, though. That's odd. Maybe I got the intake set up incorrectly? Oh, that's for fuel! This side is supposed to be fuel. This side is supposed to be resources. Oh, I see, I see. So I need to reroute this. I see. Um, okay, so until I can get fuel set up for it, I'm gonna have to uh, route this differently. Let's see. Let's do this then. If I put a conveyor to merge those two and then dump it into here like that, that should do it. Oh, okay, good. It all snaps into place. Oh, wait. I didn't want to put that one there. So sorry. Put it in the wrong spot. There. And now, connect that. Invalid shape. Oh, it. why didn't it line up correctly? Dang it! <laughs> Let me back up. Make sure I can place, placed it correctly. I thought I had it in the right spot. I was holding control to snap it into place. Let's see. Conveyor merger. Oh, it snapped to the wrong thing. I need it to snap to that, and it snapped on the wrong line. I need it to line up with that right there. Let's see if that looks right. There we go. All right. It was just snapped to the wrong place. Now we should have it. All of our resources should flow into this truck station. Uh, I'm just going to add the ones I picked up when I dismantled stuff. Do I have any? I've got a few, but you know what? I'm just going to get this thing set up for now. All right, so now I've got all the resources are flowing in. Perfect. Excellent, excellent, excellent. So now we need to figure out how to get, get it to a truck and get a truck to pick it up and all that. I'll figure that out. Um, where would it, like, dump the resources... I'll let it kind of get full, and then we'll figure that out. It may, I may have... It's got an exit port, like, here. Like, maybe you have to set it up there. I may have to rotate this whole thing. I'll figure it out, though. <laughs> Seems like it's got this crane arm. Like, it would use that to pick up. See, because it's got a, a claw there. Like, it would pick up the resource in this container and move it out to the truck, to the tractor, and the tractor would haul it off. Seems like that's how it works. W would work. But... Let's get back and get this working on the steel. I'll figure this one out 
here shortly. Uh, but yeah, I got all the resources for the steel, um, and I, let's go. Let's go get that researched uh, and check out the steel. Maybe then I need to go find coal. That needs to be a, a priority to go find coal so that we can start making steel. It's not that I really need it right now, but it'd be good to have it all set up because I also need coal to start making the coal generators. Um, they should be more efficient than the uh, biomass because the biomass I still have to go manually harvest all the all the leaves and sticks wood and stuff so it'd be nice to be able to set up um, an automation for coal mining if we can find some coal I have found a little bit but not enough not a, a, a spot I could set up a miner on milestone reached steel production unlocked foundry and improved miner included to ensure efficiency of new pipelines a collection of new more complex parts is now available for crafting cool Pods launched. Um, anything else in Tier 4? Melee combat, logistics, new conveyor belt, new storage. Um, where was the coal? Because I feel like I need to get object scanner, mushroom, fabric. Where was... Was there an object scanner for coal or do I just hold the C button to find that? Okay, yeah. Let's go find some coal since it's in Katerium ore too. Oh, you know what? I need to get a... Um, if I find any, oh man, there's none around here. All right, so if I find it, oh, there's some. How far away is that? 600 meters, 800 meters, 800 meters, really far away, and 1,000 meters. Okay, so there's some pretty far away, but we got the tractor, so we can get there in no time. I'm going to make a portable miner, which I can then turn into a miner and set up a little station out there, and yeah, let's start mining some coal. All right, so the coal is supposed to be over here somewhere, not very far from where we're setting up the new factory. Only about 300 meters away, but uh, I can't drive across this. How am I going to get there? That's a couple of copper deposits there, but it's not what we're looking for. We're looking for the coal. Hang on, can I search while I'm doing it? Oh, I did, what is this? Autopilot, clear path, start. Oh, that's how you record. Okay. Hold the C button. I'm just going to search for the coal to see if I can search while I'm still driving it. But it's the same button that sets up the recording so you can uh, create path and auto pilot for this uh, tractor here. So it's going to be. Let me see. I'm really close to it. Only a couple hundred meters in this direction. I'm not going to be able to drive the tractor there. But. I might be able to jump there. Oh, I can't jump to that. <laughs> That's a hundred meters over there. It's so close. Oh, I wonder how to get over there then. So there's not a map. I don't have a map, so at least not yet. Um, it's right there. I can see it. Right there is the deposit. Okay. Um, gosh, that would be difficult to build a, an assembly line running across this chasm here. Maybe we'll go after one of the other ones. <laughs> Maybe there's a, one that's easier to get to on land. Alright, it should be coming up on some coal here any second now. It's about 500 meters east of the new factory, which would put it... Slow down, why is it still rolling? Which would put it right down in this valley. Oh my gosh, what is that horrible looking creature down there now? <laughs> It looks like a bigger version of those things that shoot the fireballs at me. Let me uh, scan for coal again. Oh, it's just over here. Okay, so I might be able to skirt around this, not actually in the valley. Good, good, good. That's not very far from my uh, factory, so I might be able to set... Oh, there's a slug over there, up there on that hill. Actually, let me see if I can grab that real quick. Otherwise, I'll forget. What is that noise? Why is my tractor gone? Oh my god, where did it go? Did it roll down the hill? <laughs> oh my god, it rolled down the hill! It's still going! Where is it? Oh my gosh, it's gonna drive off the cliff. Oh my god, I think it did. No! No! <laughs> Oh my gosh, there it is. Okay, it stopped. Good grief, man. 
<laughs> Why did it do that? It's never done that before. It always stops when I get out. Oh, this is that little, uh... Yep, not gonna fool with that. Alright, let me get back in my tractor, see if I can get back up there. It's still trying to drive! This thing is bugged. Yay! Early access! <laughs> oh, what the heck? The thing just exploded and shot little bugs at me. Ow! Back up! Back up, little fireflies! Oh my gosh, they're hostile. What is it? Is that thing I can get? Alien carapace, sweet. I gotta get out of here. That's a. Oh my god! I got the green slug. I'm getting out of here. I'm gonna get killed. Oh, there's coal there too. Great. Where'd my tractor go? Time to bail. Haha, -ha, screw you guys. <laughs> Where's this coal? 100 meters ahead. Run him right over with my tractor. <laughs> Uh, doesn't kill him though. That's weird. I'm gonna hit this big guy too. Boosh! <laughs> oh, 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 oh my god! I feel bad. Sorry, dude. <laughs> oh, is the coal up there on that hill? Really? Yes, it is. Oh, lovely. This is going to be fun. Coal is going to be a pain to harvest. You don't want none, bro. How do we get up here to this coal? Ooh. Limestone. That's pretty cool. Hanging upside down like that. How the heck do I get up there? Oh, shit! Shoot! Is that the one we ran over the truck? Oh, I missed. Got him, alright. Ugh. If things could quit trying to kill me for just a minute, I'm not getting anywhere near that thing. Hang on, what if I shoot it beforehand? Oh, it explodes it. I am never going to be able to shoot those little guys, though. Oh, get the bug zapper, get the bug zapper, get the bug zapper. Actually, heal first. Then get the bug zapper. Ah, Jimmy, hit the wrong button. Ah! Sty little evil firefly things! Oh, I zapped it, but it did not die. Wow. Tough little fireflies. Leave me alone! Stop trying to murder me. I gotta run away again. I'm gonna get killed. Oh my god. Persistent little devils too, aren't they? Oh, I killed that one. Oh, shoot, I'm about to die. Come on. Get away from him for a bit. Run back, flee to the safety of my tractor for a moment. <laughs> See if they'll bugger off. Just squish it with the tractor. Just squish the little bugs. Oh, that sucks. You can't kill anything with this tractor. This tractor's lame. <laughs> Alright. The question is, how do we get up there? We drive around this, because obviously it's not safe to get out of the tractor. Don't flip over, tractor. Don't flip over. Is there a path up there? Am I going to have to get some sort of new technology that allows me to fly or jump higher... Oh, what is that? Come on, make it up the hill. That looks like some sort of new resource right there. I may not be able to get coal, but maybe I can get that. What is that? Is that sulfur? Oh, man, there's another creature. I can see it moving over there. 
These fireflies are still following me. They are little pests. Where they at? Come at me, bro. Got one on. There's one more. Where'd he go? Where'd he go? Where'd he go? He's stuck in my tractor. Ah! That's what you get, you hateful little thing. Oh, and I can't hit it. Ah, it sucks. Alright, well, he's stuck there. I gotta kill that thing. Uh, get the real gun back out. Ah, dang it! I'm out of bullets! Oh my gosh, Jimmy! Now I got two things trying to murder me. And yes, this is sulfur. Kill that. Alright. Oh! Finally! Got them all. Alright, so should we set up a sulfur mine right here? Oh my god, they keep coming. Where are they coming from? There's more! Alright. Hopefully that's all of them. Um, I don't know. I don't really need sulfur. I don't have a use for it yet. But it'd be nice to have something. I'd probably forget where it's at, to be honest with you. Um, I need to find a way up to get to this coal, though. Huh, I'm going to have to like learn how to fly or something to get it. All right, let's try another coal resource. Maybe we'll find. Get, maybe we'll get lucky with something today. Wait a minute, guys. I think I found a path. I circled back around to where that thing exploded with the lightning bug things, the firefly things, and I found a path partially up the hill here. Can I get up just a little bit higher? Come on, man. Ah, oh, I need better jump boots. I need better jump boots, guys. Got it. Oh, gosh, we made it. All right. Uh... We made it, we made it, we made it. Where's the coal? Ah, shoot. Oh, not two of those fireball things. Great. Keep an eye on this one. Haha, you missed. Where'd he go? I lost sight of him. Did he fall off the cliff? Oh, there he is. Don't die, Jimmy. Don't die. Come on. One more hit. Woo! Woo -hoo -hoo. Oh, that was close. Whew. All right, we made it up here. Where is this cold? Oh my gosh, there are two more of them over there. I need bullets for my rail gun. Ah, oh, I should have made some more before I left. I forgot to. These things are extra annoying. Cole's right there. Yep. I gotta go kill this other one. And hopefully not fall off the cliff. In the process. I need some better armor, too. <laughs> no, no, no. Don't fall off the cliff, Jimmy. Just stay right there. Alright, Cole. Finally. Good grief. I turned on my flashlight by accident, too. There we go. Alright. Now we gotta figure out a way to get this down off this hill and get it like in a direction we can use it. So there's the space elevator. I don't want it to go down into that valley. I need it to go this way. Should be to the west, should be my factory. Uh, this is gonna be complicated. Um, I may have to just set up a tractor to pick it up from here and take it back over there. Either way, I'm gonna put a conveyor belt running down this hill, maybe, if I can. Figure out a way to get it down the hill. Because I don't wanna have to jump up here every time to collect the resources. Um, the coal, uh, This is gonna be complicated. Okay, I'm gonna have to figure this out. It's gonna be a pain. <laughs> All right, got it set up, and I set up a coal generator up here. And the idea is, this will mine coal, it'll feed it into this splitter, and it will keep the coal generator fed forever. So I never have to worry about climbing back up here and refueling this thing, which is good. Now I've got to figure out how to get all this coal off the mountain up here. Um, 
how much power does this thing generate? 50 megawatts, and it's only consuming 5. But I never have to worry about refueling it. So it's kind of a waste of a, a good generator. But at the same time, I like the fact that it's being fed and fueling itself. So I do not have to touch it ever again. That's cool. All right, so let me not fall off this. Uh, the next logistics challenge is going to be figuring out how to get this off the hill. Um, I think we're going to have to make some conveyor poles because what I'm running into is that this is, let me see, too high and too far to get down there. So I'm going to have to like stretch a pole up and kind of like gradually bring it down. I need it to go west. My factory is out there in that direction somewhere. But I need to figure out a way to get this coal off the mountaintop first. So this is going to be a little bit tricky. I should probably build a ramp to get back up here. Instead of having to do all that little parkour jumping and stuff. Where was the spot I jumped up at? It's over this way somewhere. Yeah, I should build a ramp to get up here, make it a little bit easier, build some ramps. Yeah, right here. Uh, yeah, I'll get down to the bottom and build some foundation ramps to get back up there, because I'm going to have to climb back up to connect the conveyor belt eventually. So, oh, this is quite the challenge once you get into this, uh, let's <laughs> just start hunting for coal, man. This is cool, though. All right, I had to break out the chainsaw to cut out in this tree that was in my way here. Very good. And now... Re-equip that. Oh, I still got the chainsaw sound. I've had this bug one other time where the chainsaw sound stayed going. All right, well, I'll just have to try and talk over it. Uh, let's get the ramps the rest of the way down here. And there we go. All right, so we've got a walkway. Well, I can't hear the chainsaw now. That's good. All right, so we, got, we now have a walkway, which is, for some reason, I'm clipping into it. But anyways, we've got a walkway. I can walk. The chainsaw sound is, like, right there in that area. That's weird. Uh, but anyways, I can walk all the way up here, just place a little foundation, and I can now put a walkway down there. Now we can set up this conveyor belt. Um, I wonder, there's nowhere to attach it to anywhere. I, I wonder if it would stick to a ramp. Oh, I could put it on a ramp, on a walkway. That would look kind of dumb, but if I'd have thought about that, I would have built that walkway coming right down that conveyor belt but then it would kind of be in the way let's see if we can figure out the way to, a way to do it with just the conveyor belt um, like what are they called conveyor belt stackable poles fixed size that is stackable all right so we can't it can't be too steep but at the same time I need it to line up with it right gosh this is gonna be tough because I'm not going to be able to see what I'm doing here. I suppose I could always uh, kind of jump off and mark my spot. And I know pretty much where to put it. I hope I can survive this. <laughs> Alright, so. Right here's the conveyor belt. I just want to walk straight out. Straight down. That's a long ways. It looks like it's not lining up correctly. There we go. That's what we want, right? Yeah, this way. All right. Let's try this. No dying, Jimmy. No dying. Oh, that wasn't even that bad. Love these new shoes. All right. Let's see if that's going to be far enough or if I need to place it a lot further out. But anyways, I get an idea of the line we're going on now. How do these things work? Just stack them on top of each other? Alright, now let's climb up and see if we can connect the conveyor belt to that and start getting some of this coal off the mountain down into a storage. Is that going to be too steep? Alright, so need to connect a few more. I'll get this figured out here. Alright, I got it figured out there. Pretty cool. Now we just need to set up a storage. And we're done with it. Um, storage container. Let's just place it right here in line with this. Well, try to get it in line with it at least. It doesn't want to line up exactly. 
but that's close enough for now. Oh, gosh. <laughs> Actually, I can just... No, I can't line it up that way. Oh, well. It'll be, have to be a little bit crooked for now. We'll get it sorted out straighter later. Set it down. Backwards, of course. Of course I set it down backwards. Well, I mean, why wouldn't I set it down backwards? <laughs> okay. There. Now. I'm out of iron plates? Oh my gosh. Where's my tractor? I think I've got some iron ingots. I can craft a couple of them. Uh, craft bench, iron, iron plates. Oh my god, I'm out of iron. Oh my god. <sighs> okay, well, I gotta drive back to base. My coal production is on halt until I can get this finished. I suppose I could steal some iron from this ramp for now. So I don't want to go back to base. I'm gonna try and... Yeah, this is made from iron plates. I'm gonna steal... A little bit off of that. A couple of those should get me the two iron plates I need. I need one more. Gosh. Come on. One more. One more, baby. All right. All right. Yes! We did it! Finally, we have copper! I mean, copper. We have coal flowing directly into a storage bin. So now, it is completely self-sufficient. I don't have to ever come back and power this thing. I just have to figure out a way to get the coal out of here to the base. That's a project for another day, though. This has been quite a long episode. It took me a while to figure out all this and get it set up. That's all the time we've got for today, guys. Tune back in next time. We'll figure out how to get this back to the base, and we'll finish up... Uh, uh, we'll start producing some steel, hopefully. But that's all the time we got for today. If you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing. Hit that thumbs up button if you like this video, guys. Post me any comments or questions down below. And we'll see you on the next one. Thank you so much for watching.